Women, come closer. I see a lot of you complaining. We can't find a good man. We can't find a good man. There are no more good men. Where are the good men? How about the good men? They are good men, but you don't appreciate them. They are good men, but you keep taking them for granted. They are good men, but you keep seeing them like weak people. A lot of you women do not understand what it takes for a man to be a good man. When God sends a good man into your life, you will say, he's not my speck. He's too quiet. He's too gentle. He no get swag. He no get vibe. When a man is a good man, he becomes a baby. When a man is a good man, he becomes humble. When a man is a good man, he becomes so fragile. And that is when a lot of women take them for granted. That is when you start calling them mumu. I beg you to they call. I beg you to do everywhere. Every time they come in, he rests. He don't get work. Every time he get my house, he's, he's, he's stalking me. He's everywhere. He's always calling. That's a good man. When a man is in love, he begins to act like a baby. And a lot of women do not know how to handle good men. When they come off like that, you take them for granted. When they come off like that, you mess them up. You make them feel like they are weaklings. You make them feel like they are cowards. When they are in love with you, you're making a fool of them. You're carrying it, they do yeah, yeah. That's why a lot of men have become bad. Because that's what you women appreciate. So first of all, before you begin to say that there are no good men, as a woman, you need to upgrade your mindset. I don't blame a lot of you women because many of us grew up in toxic environments. So we don't appreciate peace. We always like violence. We like war. But I just want to remind you that there are so many good men around you that you don't appreciate. It is not the good men. It is you and your mindset. Calm down. Be calming down. Look around you. There is a good man in your life that you are playing with. Look around you. There is a good man in your life that you are saying, He does not have swag. He does not have vibe. He is not my speck. You prefer the one with the smoky boo. The one where they do da da, where they do in head lock lock up. You prefer the one where they sag in gym. You prefer those ones where they go club for nights. You don't appreciate the man that wants to stay around you. You prefer the one where go beat you. So many times, it's not the man. It is you and what you want. And that's the reason why you keep attracting your kind. That's the reason why even when you see a good man, you cannot recognize and identify them. Because many of you women do not even know what you want. And that's the biggest problem of a lot of women today mm. so i'm going to say to a lot of beautiful women there are good men around even as i'm talking to you right there's one good man in your life that you're saying is not your speck as a woman the first thing you need to understand when you become an adult ask yourself what do i want because some of you will see good men you cannot recognize it some of you if i ask you the definition of a good man now you don't know a good man is that man who is considerate that man who cares for you who puts your feelings who puts your emotions who puts your your thoughts a good man is that man that is willing to grow you a good man is that man that wants to stay by you a good man is that man that wants to be there for you you see him sacrificing some of you have taken all the good men in your life as maga you have turned all the good men into a mumu. Once a man is good to you, he's a maga. A mumu, that one, I ask him for five, you give me. No. Many times you see these men give you the things that you ask. It's not because they have so much. It's because they prioritize you. When you prioritize people, sometimes you deprive yourself. That's why it's just like our kids, as women, as mothers. There are sometimes we deprive ourselves just to prioritize our children. And some certain things we will not buy, we will not do because we want to pay school fees and because we're taking care of kids. If not that so many of us have children, if we don't do so many things, if we don't buy, if we don't buy different cars, if we don't build different houses, some of us have sacrificed and prioritized our kids and their studies and their better life first than ourselves. That's what a good man does. It doesn't make you a mumu just because you're sacrificing for your child. It doesn't make a man a mumu just because he's sacrificing because he loves you. I'm so sorry to say a lot of women are the people who have coined so many men into becoming bad. 
because a lot of you women do not appreciate good men that's the honest truth if we want to be honest to ourselves as women let's be honest many women don't appreciate good men they take them for granted they take them as weaklings and many men are beginning to understand that ah when we are nice to these women they think we're a zombie they think we're a mumu they take us for granted they take us as a weakly so most of them bring out that beast in them as a defense mechanism not because they want to hurt you but sometimes they feel that a lot of women actually do like beasts they bring it out to see if you're going to respect them because some of you once a man is good to you you cannot respect him again you start to talk to him anywhere you start to do anything you like you don't know how to set your boundaries so many men bring out that you know beast part of them just to be defensive just to show you i'm still a man no. it's not because that's who they are so as a woman sometimes you mold that man to become who he is to you we need to be very careful you know it's so easy for us women to sit down and blame men and say men are the cause of our problem but so many times i'm going to be honest with you as a professional women are the problem i tell you the truth women are the problem so as a woman i'm going to say you need to learn to be an intentional woman intentionality simply means you will grow yourself some women do not grow themselves they just sit down and be looking for a man that will do this and do that for them when you learn to grow yourself you'll be able to see the good you know some of you cannot choose a better man because you are not good yes the reason why you keep picking all those bad boys and all those randy men in your life is because you yourself that's who you are you attract your kind you attract your life yes that's why sometimes when you see some women being single you are the first to want to insult them. Oh, she's single. She don't get mad. Uh -uh. Some of us have grown to the point whereby we are willing to wait. Because we know that we've put in so much in ourselves. We are not single because there are no men. Uh -uh. We are single because we don't just want to pick up anybody on the street just like you. We don't want to pick up idiots. We'd rather be sane and comfortable on our own and build ourselves than pick up random idiots to come and mess up our lives. That's why most of us are still single. It's not because we don't have too many men that are chasing you. No? We do have. Hmm? So I'm going to say to a lot of um, beautiful women out there, you need to sit up. You need to sit up and know what you want. So that these random men do not keep coming in and messing up your life. You need to grow yourself. Have an identity. It makes it easy for people to love you. So I thought I should just tell a lot of beautiful women that they are good men. The question is, are you a good woman? The question is, do you know a good man? Can you recognize a good man when you see one? So you need to ask yourself this question before you continue your search. I thought I should remind you that there is a good man around you. So you need to be depth. You need to look. You need to search. And you would find. I thought I should remind a lot of you. And to all the wonderful men in the world who still take time to prioritize their women, love their women, do their best. We love you. We appreciate you. We see you. Many of you are rare. It's so difficult to be good. Yes. It's so hard to be good. Even as hard as it is, a lot of you are still good. Thank you for still being good. Thank you for still being a loving man. Thank you for still being a family man. Thank you for still prioritizing your family. We appreciate you. Even though we don't appreciate you guys enough, but we appreciate you and we love you. Thank you so very much. Don't forget, guys, if you want to talk to a therapist, we have an office right here in Lagos State. You can call the number 070-195-11795 to book a session with us. We also have free therapy session for those of you who cannot afford our service. And if you want us to keep you private, definitely our privacy is number one and touch not. Remember, 070-195-11795. It's okay to talk to a therapist. They're going to give you clarity on your emotions. That's why you need to talk to us. We love you. We got you.